Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Mixed Media Creations. I'm Karen Birchall, Creative Katie. Today, we are going to create an out of this world background. I absolutely love it and I know you're going to want to try it. So let's get started. Now I'm working on a journal cover, but you could be doing this on an art journal page. Now the cover was blue and what I've done here, lost the footage, sorry about that, but you're gonna see it later, put gesso through the Galaxy stencil from TCW. Now, this is a rice paper from the Cosmos Infinity series that I got in Nini Snapskin subscription box for October. Now, I could just glue that down, but I wanna create my own out of this world galaxy background. So I'm gonna look at the colors and I'm going to pull things from my stash that work with my theme of galaxy. So I'm using some bright aqua, some phthalo green, dioxazine purple, and Prussian blue. And I'm mixing that with a makeup sponge right on to my background. I didn't gesso that. The only thing that was gessoed was the Galaxy imprint. And you can see how the gesso that I put there is acting as a resist. And if you want, you can wipe that back to have more showing through. Love that using gesso as a resist technique works and I'm just building up the colors and I want some variations some lights some darks now I'm going to be doing both sides of the front and the back cover so basically I'm doing four backgrounds four pages And what I'm working on right now is actually going to be the back cover. And that's a little trick of mine when I'm doing a journal cover. I do the back one first and I figure out what I'm going to do. And this is the one that I'm going to make mistakes on, but it's going to be on the back. So by the time I do the front one, which you're gonna see in a little bit, I can tweak it and improve it and do a better job of it. Now you can see this cover had a lot of texture on it. So I'm just gonna play up that texture and utilize it in my background. In between, I am taking the time to dry, but most of that you don't see on camera. I'm just adding a little bit more of that bright aqua just to get some light areas. Now this is the Sacred Geometry stamp from Stamperia. And the designer of this is the same designer as the Cosmos collection and the Cosmos Infinity collection, which is the new one. But I love the stamps in this Sacred Geometry set. And because it's the same designer, they all work together. Now, if you don't have these exact stamps and stencils that I use, you can use what you have, but stick to the same colors and you're going to get a similar kind of effect. So if you like the overall look, you can go with it. Now, I love this one. Here's This is Naples Yellow, and I'm putting acrylic paint on this and stamping it. So I've got the blues, the greens, the goldish yellow. So that's my color scheme. Now, whenever you use a st acrylic paint on a stamp, you're going to want to take time to clean it off because otherwise it's gonna gum up your stamp, right? So this is Pegasus, and I cut this out of one of the scrapbook pads that I have from the Cosmos Infinity series. We'll come back to that later. 
Now, because that has white in it, I wanted to input a little bit of the white into the background. So I grabbed this French script stamp. I've had this forever. It's one of my favorites. It adds a small pattern detail to the background. And I'm just putting it here and there just to introduce that white that's going may, might be in the sentiment and might and is in the, on Pegasus into the background. You want all those colors to work together. At this point, I'm just saying, I love this background. You can see where the gesso resist is, the galaxy stencil that I did. Every component of this just makes it OMG yummy. Now, when you're working on a journal cover, you want to make sure that you clean your area so that you don't transfer paint to where you don't want it. So now I'm doing the front of the cover and I've decided that I want a little bit more texture. So on one of these galaxies, and I could have done it with more of them, I'm going to use thickened or extra thick gesso. So here's how I put the gesso. This is just straight gesso here. And I'm putting several coats of it before I move the stencil because I want it to be fairly opaque. The more opaque I get this, the more layers of gesso that I put on, the lighter it is, the more it's going to show through. So both of these are just gesso. And the one on the top, I'm going to put the thickened gesso through. This is the TCW Galaxy stencil. So it, it works perfectly well and really fits my overall theme. So this is thickened gesso. It's just regular gesso that has this propensity to thicken. You can buy thick gesso and I highly recommend it. I love putting thick gesso. It gives you a little bit of texture but less than modeling paste. And you can apply it like I am with a makeup sponge. So once that's dry, the texture is there. I've also done the insides of this following the exact same steps as I did on the background. So now we're going to colorize the front. So again, I am putting the same colors and the colors that I'm using are Prussian blue, dioxazine purple, bright aqua, and phthalo green. Phthalo green and diox purple, FYI, when you mix those together, you get a lovely navy. So once the background color is done, I'm add doing the stamping, just like I did on the first one, using the Sacred Geometry stamp set from Stamperia. Bright aqua on that navy really shows up. Here I'm using the Naples yellow. This looks like a planet. It also looks kind of like a star. And I'm not worried about getting it perfect. I am turning it every once in a while just so I get different parts of it. And I'm testing out my focal image. Now remember that thickened gesso that I put on over there? I'm going to bring out that texture. I have white paint on the makeup sponge and I'm rubbing ever so gently over top to bring out the texture. And now we have that galaxy as part of the focal image. Loving, loving, loving it. I'm drawing in between and then I'm coming in and I'm adding just a little bit more. And then I'm stamping with the French script stamp. Now, 
I went to the Cosmos Infinity collectibles pad that I have, and I'm looking for some ephemera, some other elements that I can cut out and maybe use on the page. So I'm taking them out of the book and I spend some time off camera cutting them out so I can addition them on the page. I'm going to put sentiments on three of the covers and I colorize some copy paper with the Naples yellow. I was thinking of framing that and I actually do. And then I decide to colorize the actual sentiment. It just made it look better. When I left it all white, it just looked a little bit too stark. So now I can play with the elements that I've cut out of that collectibles pad and decide. Now this journal isn't that big. So you don't want to put too many elements on there. And really, I love that background so much, I don't want to cover it up. I'm edging the sentiment here as well as Pegasus with black acrylic paint. And I just have that on a blending foam. The sentiment there is from my latest sentiment pack that's available at Ninny's Napkins. FYI, the entire Cosmos Infinity set, including stamps, die cuts, scrapbook pads, and stencils, I believe, are available at Ninny's Napkins. There's a link in the description box below and a coupon code. I glued this down with gel medium and I'm edging it with black just to frame my page. So it doesn't matter that it's a cover. I pretty much follow the same steps. So this is the inside and here is one of the elements that I cut from the collectibles pad. And some more sentiments from my Reach for the Stars sentiment pack. So on this one, I am basically framing the sentiment on the paper that I colorized with the Naples yellow. Now I sprayed the stamp, the scrapbook paper ephemera with a little bit of water and then put the gel medium on and that really helps it glue down quickly. I've seen that trick on some videos and this is the first time I tried, but boy, did it work. So now on the back cover, I'm thinking I would like to put a lot of inspirational quotes. So I'm cutting them out and I'm auditioning. Do I want to put two of them? Do I want to put three? What am I going to put? And I go with this card, which is also from the collectibles and the sentiment, go where the stars take you. I'm shading around my focal images on each of the pages. And then I'm colorizing it. I'm deepening the color. This is yellow oxide. It's a deeper shade of the Naples yellow. And I'm just deepening the color. I'm liking how that looks. So even this card, I'm colorizing it. I'm watering down the paint a little bit and at making that gold really stand out. And I really like how that gold warm yellow is showing with the navies and the blues in the background. So I continue on and I'm just colorizing. I'm tweaking the colors, making it fit my composition. And then I'm colorizing Pegasus a little bit too, just deepening the colors, just adding some white, making it a little brighter, and then shading it as well. I 
I have a rice paper with Pegasus that is a larger scale than this. And of course the 12 by 12 scrapbook pad would have a larger Pegasus. That would look lovely on an 11 by 14 canvas. And I think that I have one of those in my future. I think that would make a beautiful wall hanging. So do check out Ninny's Napkins and the Cosmos Infinity collection. Here I'm using my Inktense blocks to colorize. I didn't have the right color, so I was using that. I'm outlining everything with my black Posca pen. This journal has 200 pages. I purchased these from Dollarama. But the nice thing is the covers you can take off, which I took off to do to work on here. But after, if you use up the notebook, I can go back, buy another notebook and just use the same cover. I do varnish the cover with a couple coats of polyacrylic varnish. as well so they're very durable and of course I need to splatter with gold which again works so well for this galaxy background there's lots of pictures coming up thank you so much for joining me I hope you give this galaxy background a try all the stamps and stencils that I've used on this I recommend they're good staples to have and you'll get lots of great use out of them Thanks for joining me. Until next time, go get creative.